Most people think homesteading means giving up modern life. But that's exactly why so many burn out before they ever make it. The truth is, real freedom today doesn't come from doing everything by hand. It comes from building smarter systems that keep you running no matter what. Modern homesteading isn't about rejecting technology. It's about mastering it. We're not going backward here. We're building something, well, better. Let me show you what that looks like on a real working farm. Here at Possum Ridge Farms, we mix old fashioned skills with modern tools. It's not to make life easy, but it's to make it last. Look, if your setup only works when everything's perfect, it's not self-reliant. You know, when I first started, I thought real homesteaders were the ones who built everything from scratch and did it all by hand. And there's pride in that, no doubt. But over time, I learned that effort always doesn't equate to efficiency. Take firewood, for example. I used to cut and split every stick with a handsaw, an ax, and a maul. It'll keep you humble, and it'll wear you down fast. And certainly, there's nothing wrong with hard work. But if you spend every ounce of energy swinging an ax, you won't have much left for the rest of the farm. Now we use a chainsaw and a log splitter. The heat still comes from the wood, just like before, but the process is faster, safer, and much easier on my old back. The goal isn't to prove you can suffer through it. It's to keep your family warm and your energy focused where it's needed most. Same thing with milking. If we milk by hand every morning and evening, it'd take forever. The milking machine doesn't make us less self-reliant. It just lets us care for our animals more efficiently and still have time for everything else the farm demands. Now look, there's some methods like canning and composting that have stood the test of time, but others, they're better when modern tools, well, lead a hand. And that's the part nobody talks about. You can love the old ways and use modern tools. It's not one way or the other. One day, it just simply clicked. Homesteading isn't about how you do it, it's about whether you can keep it going. After years of trial and error, we started build, building systems that could take a hit and keep the farm running no matter what. That's when modern technology became part of the plan, not the problem. We built our solar setup around one word, redundancy. We have two main solar arrays and one smaller backup system. If one fails, the others carry the load. No single failure can shut this place down. Even our Blue Eddy is part of the setup. It's our portable solar leg. It runs freezers or tools or anything else when the weather turns really bad and the power drops out. Every watt here has a purpose and every system has a backup. Our EG4 mini splits run directly off sunlight to keep the house comfortable without ever touching the grid. Our weather station gives us real time data, not the numbers from 20, 30, 50 miles away. And look, when you're spraying fruit trees or doing garden work, accurate local weather makes a big difference. Security is another layer of re resilience. We've got 11 cameras covering barns, pens, pastures, and driveways. They're all running 24 seven. We also have an extensive driveway alarm system that alerts us long before anyone reaches the house. And no, it's not paranoia, it's absolute peace of mind. I didn't add all this tech to make life easy. I added it so one breakdown doesn't shut us down. Our freeze dryer adds another layer of food security. We preserve eggs, meat, milk, full meals for years with no freezer space or electricity required. It bridges the gap between traditional canning and modern food preservation. And for everyday use, we rely on our dehydrator. It's simple, fast, and perfect for fruits, vegetables, herbs, and even snacks. It doesn't replace the freeze dryer, it complements it. 
each tool has its place. And together, they make sure nothing on the farm goes to waste. And well, there's the drone. We use it to check fence lines, to locate livestock, inspect roofs, and sometimes look at the solar panels we can't get to. We also occasionally will have it go look at something setting off the driveway alarm that we can't see from the house. It saves time, adds safety, and keeps us in the information loop. Look, I can do that without, le without leaving the main confines of the house. Each one of these tools buys back something far more valuable than convenience. It gives us time. Time I can spend with the family, with the critters, or simply living the life we built. After 25 years of heating with wood and watching systems fail, I have learned one thing. Balance is what keeps a homestead going. If the power goes out tomorrow, I can still heat my home with wood I can cook with propane, I can haul water if we have to, and I can cool the house, well, with solar. The technology isn't here to replace hard work, it's here to help back it up. Our systems work in layers. I've got solar for power, freeze drying and canning for food, weather tracking for, well, anything outside, and cameras, alarms, and drones for livestock security, awareness, and safety. That's what real freedom looks like. Control, not chaos. Modern homesteading isn't about pretending it's 1850. It's about using what's available today to build a life that's independent, sustainable, and future-proof. Technology doesn't take away the spirit of homesteading, it strengthens it. Look, being prepared, efficient, and informed is a new way of self-reliance. We're not going backward. We're just finally using what we've learned to move forward. If you've ever felt guilty about using modern tools on your homestead, stop! You're not cheating the lifestyle. You're keeping it going. We're not going backward here. We're building something better. What's one modern tool you use on your homestead or your house that you'd never give up? Tell me below. And believe it or not, I do read every comment. And remember, it's not about being off grid. It's about being in control. That's the real heart of modern homesteading. It's not about rejecting the world. It's about learning to live better inside it. If this video helped you rethink what self-reliance really means, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who's dreaming of their own place. And if you're working toward your own version of freedom, keep moving forward, one step, one project at a time. Until next time, I'll see you down at the barn.